Before we get into the specific features of the Mesa Max, I'd like to take some time to explain the science behind Ride Down and why it's important when choosing your infant car seat. Let's start from the beginning. Every car crash has three collisions. The vehicle is going to strike an object. That's one. The adult passenger, driver, is going to hit the seat belt inside the car. That's two. And then the internal organs are going to hit the skeleton. That's three. In a car seat, though, we're going to have a fourth collision. That collision is going to be the car seat itself hitting the vehicle seat belt system. It's important to understand that when we think about ride down. Ride down is a moment in time where we're absorbing energy. In this timeline here, we have the start of the event, the stop of the event. So this is when the car hits the object and this is when everything comes to a close. As the adult, you'll see the collision two happens a bit delayed from collision one. That's because the adult needs to slide forward in the seat and come up and hit the restraints, the seat belt system in the seat. And then everything starts to absorb energy. That's when the ride down begins and that's this period. Everything before that is free, easy motion. We'll call that payout. In a child in a car seat though, we're gonna have that first collision here. Second collision happens here, which is the car seat now hitting the seat belt system. This happens at the same time as the adult. And then the child hits the harness inside the, inside the car seat itself. Uh, now the child starts to absorb energy or the car seat starts to absorb energy for the child and the ride down begins. You can see the child has a much shorter ride down period than the adult does. So in a car crash that would equal about 20 G's worth of force, the child in this situation may see upwards of 60 G's worth of force. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out the rest of the Mason Max videos in the series.